Doctor, these new questions about the effectiveness of J&J's vaccine against the Delta strain. This, this new study, should, should the nine or so million of us who got the J&J single dose mask up now N95 style until we m know more? No, Shep, good, and good evening. I, what I do think it t shows is that it's hard to believe that one dose of J&J &J is equivalent to two doses of Pfizer or two doses of Moderna. And this is where I would like the CDC, FDA, and especially the ACIP uh, committee when they meet later on this week to at least allow one dose J&Jers to get a second dose of Pfizer or Moderna if they should show choose. Because we know, Shep, from what, what's happening in People England. People are already doing combine, that, doctor. You know that. No, and I will say one dose of AstraZeneca, very similar to J&J, &J, when combined with Pfizer and Moderna, has a has a tremendous effect in terms of protection antibody level uh, th that are generated. And so I do think that those one shot changers should be given the opportunity while we complete our clinical trials. If you had it, wait six would you want it? If one of your loved yes. ones who had comorbidities had gotten the J and J shot, would you say go get a Pfizer and Moderna? Here's how you do it. Oh, I'm already telling my patients to do it if they can get. Uh, access to it. See, and, and that's what I hear from, excuse me, but I hear that from doctor after doctor, and yet the CDC, which a couple of weeks ago said, no, we're not even thinking about boosters, and then the next week said, yeah, we're thinking about boosters, as saying emphatically, don't do it. I mean, this new study from NYU looks like we should all be a bit concerned. I mean, one J&J &J and Delta running around here a thousand times more the viral load. I don't want this thing. I, that's why I've been so careful and got this shot. And now... I don't know. I'm about to get another shot. I'll say that the, the studies that J&J &J produced in this study out of NYU, they're small studies. They're lab-based studies. I look at what's happening with AstraZeneca, and when you give a second dose of Pfizer and Moderna, what happens? That's a sister vaccine, very similar to J&J. &J. It heightens protection. Right. And it's safe. So okay. we should be, based on those studies, we should infer that it's safe and effective for the J&Jers. We're in an emergency. We need to be able to infer and provide actual guidance and pivot while we're awaiting our own studies here internally. Yeah, that makes sense. Doctor, you, you've treated COVID patients from the start of this whole thing, way back last March and February. What are you seeing in your hospital right now as this Delta variant is spreading? Well, you know, Shep here, I, I practice both in Washington State and in Arizona, and frankly, I'm seeing in our zip codes that there is a decoupling. Even if we're seeing case rises, very small increases in cases, we're not seeing a parallel significant increase in hospitalizations. Deaths are still plateauing in most zip codes across the country. So I just want to urge calmness for the entire yeah. country that, yes, we are seeing certain hot zones pop up, but they're regional. Places that we expected there to be hot zones, low vaccine uptake rates, low masking rates. What we're seeing here is not surprising. We're going to see more of it come the fall winter when it gets colder. What COVID likes colder air. We shouldn't be surprised by it. We should be really calm knowing that the vaccines are very effective when they're adopted. Yeah. One, one last thing before we go. If someone, if there's a breakthrough case, if you're fully vaccinated and you get the case, you get it, but you don't know it because you don't have symptoms and you're not getting tested. Are you contagious? Can you spread it to a child who hasn't been vaccinated or your grandmother, or do we not know yet? Well, definitive studies are still happening, Shep, but we have enough data right now to suggest that if you are otherwise healthy and say less than 65 years of age and fully vaccinated, and my definition of fully vaccinated is two doses of a vaccine, right. that the chance that you can transmit the virus to a unvaccinated child at home is exceedingly low. Some, some ID docs say less than 0.1%. So if you meet that criteria, no, you cannot transmit the virus. So we need to give actual guidance to individuals that meet that criteria that you can safely unmask at home and you can, you, you can live worry-free. I, I was done, except you just said, Dr. Vin Gupta, whom I trust and whom we hire to give us in, information, you just said your definition of vaccinated is two doses. The nine million of us who got J&J &J have had one dose. Are you saying we're not fully vaccinated? I think you're protected likely from the hospital and severe outcomes from, say, the Delta variant, based on what data we do have. I do not think you have the same level of protection to transmit the virus than somebody who received two doses of a vaccine like Pfizer or Moderna. Yeah. I think that is pretty clear at this point. I wish I'd made a bit different decision, I'll tell you that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.